This is the cheapest running and driving Porsche 911 in the entire country. And if you missed the first episode, I bought it because it was my father's dream car. But sadly, he passed away from cancer before he could achieve that dream. And now we're building it into the coolest Porsche 911 on the entire internet. And if you want a hint as to what our plan is, well, you'll have to stick around to the end because first, we need to know everything wrong with this car. And based on the price, well, I think there might be a lot. So that's why we're here at Auto Engineering in Lexington, Mass, to find out exactly everything wrong with the cheapest 911. We're here at Auto Engineering. This is Rick, the owner, and he's gonna help us figure out what's wrong with the 911. First, Rick took the car for a drive around the block to see if he felt anything weird. How's it feeling? <laughs> it actually feels really good. Yeah, I feel like something has to be wrong, but for some reason, it's pretty good. It's so shockingly good. Yeah, yeah, that's been the, that's been the, you know, conclusion so far. Yeah, let's put it up and go over it. I like putting cars up in the air. <laughs> Until Rick sends me the bill. <laughs> or anything. Just checking out your sway bar bushings. Gotcha. Yeah, I'm assuming if anything, the bushings are probably Yeah, a little tired. There. Yeah, yeah, a little tired. Usually when they're pretty worn, you'll see rust billowing out because there's a gap. Gotcha. Seem pretty tight, but they are, I mean, I heard a little bit of bushing noise. When you took it out? Yeah. The shocks aren't leaking. Let's work our way back. Oh, definitely some liquid of some kind. <laughs> I, <laughs> this is drier than cars with half the mileage. Really? Yeah. I don't like too good a news. <laughs> That's <Yeah>. terrifying. <laughs> we yeah. just take it five minutes around the block, just blows up. Some residue here, blowing back. I, I sort of have a sneaking suspicion that somebody rebuilt the engine at some point for a car with so many miles, but. Near the cam cover, we have some oil leaks. Let's see right up here. Oh, yeah. But it's not pissing nope. oil. No, so. it's not pouring out. Engine mounts have a little little sagging to them. Where do you Look see that? Way up there. Usually when these tips hang a little lower, it's uh -huh. the engine mounts sagging a little bit. Oh, really? Okay. We're changing the exhaust next, so stay tuned for that. But looking at the bolts, it's gonna be a, that's the only part that is rusty. <laughs> so that'll be fun. <laughs> it's, it's really, so far so good. Even, even like this rear main area, Mm -hmm. Usually, be coming out. You'd be oil dripping out of here, and it's pr pretty dry. That's good to know. Wow. A lot of just residue from all the miles on it. General gunk. There's your oil separator if you want to see that. So right up here. Oh yeah. Okay. Dry. Nice. Yeah. Looks newer. That does look a lot newer. CV boots secure, not leaking. Yeah, I'm impressed. <laughs> We did it. <laughs> they did. Somebody drove through a drive-through car wash, though. Oh, definitely. Is that how you can tell? Oh yeah. That's like you really What's the only that way from? to curb in it. it grabs the wheel. grabs the wheel and then like a pulls you through. Like a scrub car wash. Oh, gotcha. Okay, that makes sense. It could be a lot worse. Yeah. This Check might be the only time in my life I get a passing grade on anything. <laughs> Crud on there. I mean, it's, it's really pretty good. <laughs> you wow. seem a little bit impressed. I'm very too. impressed. <laughs> nice work. <laughs> yes, <laughs> yes I, all me, I guess. <laughs> Thank you, previous owners who slammed it into other vehicles. At least you kept everything else good. At least you repainted it. Maybe it was just such a bad crash that they had to replace all. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing even looks like bent. Yeah, it feels tight. A little bit of creaks, which would be these bushings here that I just felt. Uh, okay, Those just sway bar. Rear sway bar bushings. That's yeah, pretty straightforward. Nice work. I want to see if I can find any of the crash damage. Do you know what you're looking for? <laughs> uh, no. <laughs> I'm gonna take a peek. Uh, <laughs> it's gotta be in there somewhere. <laughs> Looks good to me. <laughs> I can't see anything. Well, um, we can scan it too. It's yeah, on the computer. If you had to list so far what you've seen, what do you think would be? I mean, maybe let's stuff? do some maintenance work to it. Make sure, sure the oil's fresh, brake fluid. That cabin filter was, was pretty gross. I would say spark plugs, air filter. Brake pads, probably. Soon. Uh, gotcha. the, the fronts, the rears, let's see. You know, they have probably eight or nine millimeter left. So you have some, some time on those. Tires, you know, in great condition. 
You just awesome. you have a couple more years with the time limit on them. Gotcha. If you don't burn them up by then. What's the typical time limit? Seven years. Seven years. It's hard to burn these ones up. Just because on the 911, it's not the easiest car to spin the tires on. <laughs> it's a little <laughs> bit underpowered. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> not this one. That's for sure. That's awesome. Should we give it a scan then and see what yeah, let's pops scan up? Yeah, let's see, see if there's anything. Detrimental things. I'm just waiting for something bad to happen now. It's kind of nerve wracking. I know. <laughs> just for a little background, the car itself was from a very, very small dealership that's where we found it they had no idea the history of the car it was pretty much just traded into them for what I imagine was something newer I don't even know what he got we sort of took a gamble on it because hard to pass up on the cheapest Porsche 911 that runs and drives in this manual so what are we looking for here mostly scan the engine to see if there's anything in the, um, the DME gotcha survey says wouldn't worry too much <laughs> <Wow. What? laughs> one code <laughs> that's all that's all I'm blown away. That's crazy. That's uh, the luckiest I may have, <laughs> may have gotten. <laughs> I should get a lottery ticket. <laughs> the title of the video. Nothing's wrong with the cheapest 911 in the country. Turns out it's great. <laughs> I can't tell if I wanted something to go wrong or if I was, I'm was. i happy that nothing is wrong with it. That's good for us. Yeah. Saves us money that we don't have. More Not so money for, for fun stuff. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> no codes present. Huh. Good. <laughs> Good. Wow, great. <laughs> I've never heard anyone say that to me about a car before. Good I thought other. I was gonna be the savior of this car. It might be the uh, the opposite of the truth. <laughs> yeah, that's the only thing wrong with this car. <laughs> yeah, it's not the passenger seat. Yeah. Because the car has been in a few accidents, Rick decided we should do a paint meter test. And well, check this out. It's a little thick. They laid it on. I'm not a I'm not a body man, but usually we like to see between three, three to six mils. Fender had about eight. Uh oh, we struck gold here. <laughs> Bondo. Like Bondo. Oh, oh no! <laughs> She's a little thick back here. A little thick never hurt nobody. <laughs> a little thick in the rear is where you want it. <laughs> that's all right. So it's, that's uh, that's perfect. For right? reference. <laughs> yeah. Wow, they really painted that. Yeah, so I'd say maybe the majority of it was that that left rear. Okay. I mean, it looks like it might have might have been repainted, but still, still around the right, yeah, the right number, the depth. So everything's going well so far. Uh, the car is much cleaner than me or Will were expecting it to be. It's a 911 that was being sold at an independent dealer that no one knew anything about. So you know kind of a mixed bag. <laughs> you never know what you're getting, but I think we've lucked out. The only thing we can see so far is some general wear items, and then obviously that rear panel that's clearly been repainted and bondoed. But now Rick is writing up a full itemized list of everything wrong with the car and what it would cost to get it right. So, you know, we've come to the right place. Hopefully the damage isn't too bad. We'll have to see. Speaking of paying for things, let's talk wallets. Your wallet sucks, and it probably looks something like this. At least that's what mine looked like before I upgraded to this, an extra wallet. It's sleek, simple, and takes up way less space than your typical wallet. It has this really cool button feature which pushes up your cards for easy access. And honestly, it makes for a great fidget toy because I'm literally playing with this thing constantly. And if you're the kind of person who loses their wallet, you can also get one of these trackers, which helps you find it with ease. So stop being stuck in the past and upgrade to an extra wallet today. Use my link or code crankshaft at checkout for up to 30% off select items from now until May 8th. Thank you to Extra for sponsoring the video. Now let's get back into it. All right, here's All the right. verdict. What's the damage? <laughs> so PPI, you know, 278, kind of going through everything we did. Major service kind of gives you like a, you know, be up to par with everything. Air filter, cabin filter, spark plugs, wiper blades, tri belt, key battery, oil change, a little over 1500 bucks. At the same time, we usually offer replacing the ignition coils. Okay. There's no labor involved, just to put the updated ones in there. If they're not in there, 340 just for the parts. Brake fluid flush, do every two years, no history on the car. 129.99. Those rear sway bar bushings, 181 installed. Not terrible. Engine mounts, I mean, we could see that they were sagging a bit. The exhaust tips were settling down. Um, felt a little bit of clunking when shifting. Nothing crazy, but if you wanted to do those, 11.63. Because you have to, what, drop the engine? Yeah, have to sport the engine and, and just take it all apart to get to it. Yeah, the majority of it, honestly, is just the parts. Gotcha, okay, so not bad. And then these are some of the, like, the maybe do. The front brakes you're going to need at some point. You know, both rotors, brake pads, hardware kit, and the sensor. A little over 1200 bucks installed. And then the other thing we didn't really talk about is the IMS bearing. 996, 986 box. There is, they have a failure, as most people in this Porsche community know. Uh, we just do 
do the LN engineering one, which includes the updated intermediate shaft bearing, all the parts associated with an oil change, and that's just under 3,000 installed. Okay, so because that, to do the IMS engine out? Uh, transmission out. Transmission out, okay. Yeah. Gotcha. Transmission out, clutch comes out. We offer a clutch at the same time, you just pay for the parts. Because why not, while you're in there? It's, yeah. it's like taking your shoe off and not replacing a broken sock. <laughs> yeah, you know, it does. I feel like there's always, when you do automotive work, a while you're in there sort of thing. Yeah, just one of those things that makes sense, but that's, honestly, that's pretty much it. The car was clean for 175,000. So what are you, what's the grand total if it, all that work were done? If you did everything, which some of it you don't need right now, but it's, it's about $10,000. Gotcha. Okay, honestly, I mean, close to obviously the, the price of the car, but <laughs> all things considered, most of that is the IMS. Yeah. So you never know what's gonna go wrong with those, but in terms of all the most necessary stuff, it's pretty good. Yeah, straightforward maintenance. Awesome. Well, thank you so much for having us. You're welcome. Yeah, you know, if you have a car, you need to get it right. Bring it over to Rick at Auto Engineering and he'll take care of you. He's the best. Their shop is, I was just saying, literally the cleanest shop around here. So um, yeah, definitely come on by. Autoengineering.com, Instagram, Auto Engineering Lexington. Thanks, Rick. No problem. So I have the bill here. Like Rick said, there is some stuff that we could do, uh, like the IMS, although it's not super necessary at this time, and that's a bulk of the cost out of that 10,000. If we wanted to do a lot of the uh, more deferred maintenance, that would be about $3,000. Since we're a YouTube channel, and since we are not the richest folks in the world, we will be doing most of this work ourselves. So you should go buy our merch or an extra wallet. <laughs> Once we take care of this maintenance, we'll be able to get into the bulk of the build. And if you want a little hint, think off the beaten path. Hopefully that'll uh, give you some ideas. Drop a comment if you think you know what's gonna happen to this Porsche. Stay tuned for the next video where we're gonna be putting on the first mods to this car. This is gonna be an awesome build. I'm looking forward to it, and I hope you guys are too. Subscribe.